All right, guys, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop. It's time to do a custom Matchbox 33 Plymouth. This casting is super cool. This is the latest version of it. Um, just kind of in civilian trim with this dark blue paint job. Super cool car. I really like this thing since it came out. I'm going to get this thing cracked open and take a look at it. The last time I did one of these, I did it up as a 60s gasser called Midnight Stalker. And that car turned out really bitchin', super cool. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's on the channel. Um, but this time, we're going to leave this car kind of stock. And basically what my idea is for this, um, fairly recently I did uh, my kind of barn find old gangster car and i'd like to do something kind of similar to this um not really like a barn find car but we're going to detail this thing out just to make it look more realistic um so we're going to repaint the fenders because they're just molded into black plastic we're going to detail out the whole chassis um probably detail the interior and give this thing a, a light weathering just to make it look a little bit more realistic. Um, so the first thing that we're going to have to do on this project is get this thing drilled apart. Um, I'll show you guys what we have to work with. It's a pretty nice casting with some great detailing on it. And then I uh, will talk some more about uh, what the plans are for this. And uh, then we'll go from there. Alright guys, so we got the car drilled apart. We'll take a look at it. Um, here's our body super nice detailing on it. I really like that. They just went with kind of the civilian uh, Factory paint job on this one The only thing that I have planned to do um, On the body is we're gonna paint the roof insert uh, Black because this would have been like either probably a canvas or some type of vinyl or something um, roof insert it wouldn't have been steel um, so we're going to paint that, um, and then otherwise I don't think we're really going to need to do much, um, detailing on this body. Um, here's our windows, um, on the interior, I might just paint this, um, paint the plastic on the seats to look a little bit more realistic, but we're going to paint, um, the fenders, um, gloss black. And then paint the running board inserts, probably like a flat black. Um, there's like a little bit of a casting line on the back fender. So we'll sand that up on both sides uh, before we paint it. Um, we can paint in detail the little taillight there and the headlights. Um, and then we're going to be running the same uh, wheels. We're just going to maybe detail them out a little bit nicer. And then we're going to detail out the whole chassis um, to look factory. And then we're going to give it a little bit of weathering to make this thing look a little bit more realistic. So we do a lot of radical builds here at Hanson Speed Shop. So I thought it'd be nice to just do kind of a simple, easy, fun project for once. That isn't going to be super involved, but should still be a really cool car um, by the end of the video. So, um... I'll start digging into this thing and kind of show you guys some progress as I go. Alright guys, so we're just about ready to get started on painting this thing. Um, but before I did that, I did a couple real easy to do things that are just going to make this thing a lot better in the end. Um, and what I did was here on the front and rear bumpers, um, right, right in here... There was like a piece of plastic that connected from the frame kind of over to the corner of the bumper. And um, it was just kind of like a filler piece to make this more safe for kids, I'm guessing, so that the corner of the bumper wouldn't break off or be like a choking hazard or something. But it's just kind of unrealistic. Um, so I just trimmed that out right to where the bumper bracket would be on both sides. And then I did that on the back also, trimmed the, the corners out. That's just going to make this look a lot nicer and more realistic. And then on our fenders, I sanded the casting lines off of uh, both of the back fenders. And then on the spare tire, on top of the spare tire here, there was another little casting line sanded that off as well so now we can get started on painting this 
basically what I'm planning on doing, we'll do the bumpers and chrome. Um, we'll do the gas tank and like a flat aluminum along with the transmission. And then everything else will be a flat black. And then we'll go over that with a light bit of weathering um, just to make that look more realistic. Um, we'll do the uh, fenders probably. I don't think we're going to need to go um, gloss black. I think a sat black might actually be um, perfect because the body is not super overly shiny. Um, and uh, I think just a sat black will look good on the fenders. It'll be about equivalent to the shine that's on the plastic. It'll just look a little bit better. And then the running board inserts and interior, I think we'll do in a flat black. And we'll detail our headlights. And uh, this thing should be coming along pretty good. We'll also do the roof insert um, in a flat black also. So that's the plan for this car. I hope you guys are digging this so far. And uh, we'll take another look at it once I make a little bit more progress. All right, guys. So it's time for the final unveil and our simple little custom here of a Matchbox 33 Plymouth. I think this thing turned out really nice. Looks a lot better than how it came um, from the factory. I hope you guys dug this and kind of see that you can take um, just a stock Hot Wheel or a stock Matchbox, do a little bit of detailing to it and really make it a lot nicer. Um, so what we did on this, um, starting with the exterior, I did all the fenders out in a nice satin black, um, just to give them more of a painted look rather than the plastic that it came with. I did the running board inserts in a flat black. Uh, we detailed out the rims in a satin black also. Um, I did the roof insert in a flat black, detailed out the headlights. Um, we trimmed out the front and rear bumpers like I talked about. And then I did the bumpers in a chrome. Looking at the back, the spare tires, satin black also. Detailed out the little tail light. Um, the door handles came from Matchbox already detailed, so I didn't have to do that along with the um, grill shell. Uh, we did the interior out in a flat black just to kind of make it look less plasticky. And then taking a look underneath the car, um, detailed out the whole chassis in a flat black. Um, the transmission was done in flat aluminum along with the gas tank. And then I added a little bit of rust on the bottom of the car and kind of weathered it um, slightly just to give it a little bit more of a realistic look. And I think that looks really good. Um, so that is going to do it for our 33 Plymouth from Matchbox. Again, give this thing a thumbs up, share the video, um, comment below, let me know what you think, hit that subscribe button, stick around for some more pictures of the car, otherwise until next time, get out working your own projects, get those hands dirty and greasy, stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one, thanks for watching.